I'm gonna show you how you can have your pantry go from this to this. Well, maybe not to that extent, but you're gonna be stocked up. And it all starts now with the summer grocery sales cycles. May is when I usually stock up on most of my condiments. Things like barbecue sauces, dips, dressings, and marinades, ketchup, mustard, relish, pickles, and mayo and Marica Whip. I stock up now until November with both. So for our family dinners or for a gathering, I can prepare and bring our deviled eggs, potato salad, coleslaw, and all our favorite macaroni salads. I'm here at my Smith's and they have Miracle Whip on sale. Buy five or more, mix and match. You could save a dollar on each, which makes them $3.99. Walmart is usually priced at $5.48. Whenever I run out of Miracle Whip and I have to pay full price, I buy it from Sam's Club. I can get a two pack there for $4.36 each. So this sale at Smith's is really good. I saw one container for August of 24. We don't want that. The rest so far I'm seeing for October 24, which can go like a month or two after that. We do go through Miracle Whip quite fast. So I'm gonna grab five of these. And I only have one left in my fridge and one on the shelf. Is this bad for you? Yeah, but it's Miracle Whip and it makes tuna fish sandwiches delicious. This is when I stock up on certain dressings and marinades. Get one step ahead by marinating your porks, your beef, your chicken, and pop that bag in the freezer. That way later in the summer, all you have to do is pull it out, let it thaw, and throw your protein on your grill. It is a time saver. In the future, you in a few months will have saved a ton of money buying these items on sale than going to the store and paying full price. I'm already seeing some really great early Memorial Day grocery deals. I've already scored some great deals on chips. If you were to buy four or more, and this was mix and match, final cost would be $1.99 each. And for a bag of name brand eight ounce chips, it's not gonna get any better than that. Keep your eye out on soda sales. Last week, my Smiths had soda on sale. Buy two, get two free for $9.99. That makes them $4.99 each. That beats out Walmart, which is my lowest price store in my area. The average price there is $7.48. Look for deals on bottled water, your supplies to make s'mores. And with the summer season, look out for deals on paper goods like paper plates, paper bowls, napkins, cups, plastic tablecloths, and plastic spoons, forks, and knives. And of course, all of our grilling needs, including charcoal. The best time of this year is grilling, but we wanna score on all those yummy proteins. Starting now in May, we're gonna be looking out for deals on hot dogs, brats, burgers, ribs, all of it. So when you wanna stock up on some of these items and throw them in your freezer, you really, really wanna look for good quality cuts. We have a freezer that stores all our bulk meat. And when that runs out, Butcher Box is our number one go-to for high quality cuts of meat. And I like to thank them for sponsoring today's video. Butcher Box is a meat subscription service that delivers high quality cuts of meat and seafood frozen at its peak of freshness right to your doorstep at an affordable price. And there's always free shipping. There's 100% grass fed beef, free range organic chicken, pork raised crate free and wild caught seafood. I really feel that Butcher Box would be a great companion with your summer grocery budget. So they have two box options for you. There's the curated classic box. They pick the cuts for you. That way you're always able to try something new. It comes with eight to 11 pounds of meat, roughly about 24 meals. The custom box is actually their most popular box. You're able to select over 25 cuts with the option to switch it up in every order. So you'll receive nine to 14 pounds of meat, which is about 30 meals. They have exclusive membership deals. Do you wanna know what the offers are for this month? Free in every box for a year, new users will receive their choice of either one pound of premium grass-fed and grass-finished steak tips, three pounds of organic chicken breast, and two pounds of wild-caught salmon. Throw that on your grill? Mm, mm, mm. They even have some very convenient options. The sausage patties are so good. The meatballs, my family absolutely loves. And their burger patties, oh, juicy and delicious. So if you wanna get in on this deal just in time for the summer barbecues, click the link down below for this month's exclusive limited time offer. And remember, always free shipping. And thanks again to Butcher Box for sponsoring today's video. The best part about summer is having all the produce at our fingertips. So here's what's in season for May. 
artichokes, asparagus, avocado, blackberries, beets, carrots, green beans, greens like mustard and collard, onions, potatoes, raspberries, and strawberries. I love when artichokes are in season. Just trim the edges, pop them in your Instant Pot with one cup of water, cook it on high pressure for about 10 to 15 minutes, and they come out beautifully. Did you know that June is National Dairy Month? So there'll be sales on milk, creamer, cottage cheese, sour cream, ice cream, yogurt, butter, cheese, Cool Whip, whipped cream, and eggs are rolled into that category with dairy. If you grab the bags of shredded cheese, you could pop that in your freezer. When you need it, all you need to do is just kind of hit it on your counter, get what you need from it, out really good. Stock up when you see the two pound blocks of cheese on sale. The big blocks of cheese, do not just throw those in your freezer because when they thaw, they get all crumbly. Unless you're putting it in something later, like a casserole. What I do is I take that block of cheese, cut it into thirds, and then freeze those sections. But if you wanna go ahead and shred your own cheese and freeze it, there's a way of doing this without it all clumping and sticking together. Once your cheese is shredded, put it in a bag, sprinkle in some cornstarch, shake it up, and then you're able to toss it in your freezer. Here's what's in season in June. Apricots, blueberries, boysenberries, cherries, corn, cucumbers, peaches, nectarines, eggplant, grapes, honeydew, red onions, tomatoes, watermelon, and summer squash. Every summer I take full advantage of the fresh corn. I cut the corn from the cob, bag it up, and put it in the freezer. I don't even blanch it, no need to. So now I have frozen corn all year round to add into any recipe. And it comes in super handy during the holidays where I wanna make side dishes like cream corn. I like to can corn salsa, it's so good. You can have it just as a salsa with your chip or put it on top of your salads, and I really enjoy having it in my fajitas. Toward the end of June, you're gonna watch for the the 4th of July sales. You'll see a lot of the same condiments for sale that were in May, but you'll also see sales on hot dog and hamburger buns, a variety of canned beans, and drink mixes. Oh, July, it is the perfect month for cookouts and fireworks. We go big on the fireworks around here. July is National Ice Cream Month. So during the month, we're gonna see sales on all our favorite ice cream treats. Ice cream sandwiches, popsicles, ice cream cones and the toppings, and the assorted frozen novelties. Here's what's in season. Bartlett pears, bell peppers, garlic, oranges, green beans, corn, and watermelon. With all that fresh produce, we can freeze them, can them, dehydrate them, freeze dry them. I have a video for you down below where I share with you 40 foods that freeze well. This is how we can really take advantage of stocking our shelves and our freezers. And when it comes to the peaches, I love slicing them up down on a baking sheet with parchment paper, popping them in the freezer so they'll individually freeze, so that way I can stick them into Ziploc bags, pop them in the freezer, and later when I wanna add them to a smoothie or make a peach crisp or a dessert, they're totally accessible. We also have a freeze dryer, and freeze drying peaches is so good. It's like eating candy. Also do this with your mango, Strawberries, blackberries, and raspberries. Eating them later, it's like having candy. Now on to August. For back to school season, look for lunch meat, lunchables, pudding cups, fruit cups, cold cereals, oatmeals. Look out for sales and good deals on produce. A variety of berries, apples, grapes, tomatoes, peaches, pears, melon in general, onions, tomatillos, and a variety of squash. With all the different types of berries in season, I love making jams and jellies, and it's so much cheaper. I have some videos linked down below where I share with you how I make plum jelly, this yummy multi-berry jelly, and even apple butter. There's also great sales on cleaning supplies, things like Clorox wipes, sanitizing sprays and soaps, you're also gonna to start to see clearance items on things like insect repellent and sunscreen. Before you head to the stores and start stocking up on these sale items, there's a few things you need to be aware of. You wanna stock up on items you and your family use regularly. Regularly, regularly, oh my gosh. You wanna stock up on the items that you buy all the time. Inventory what you already have on your shelves, fridge and freezer. Buy one now, one for later, two for later. Be prepared to shop several stores. Some stores have very high base prices that their sales actually aren't sales because your second or first cheapest store in your area, that's, that, that sale price is their base price. 
In a price book or a notebook, keep track of the regular prices on your go-to items. This way when they're on sale at any of the stores you shop at, you'll be able to spot if a sale is truly a good deal. Everything's moved digital these days and stores now have their own digital coupons. So make sure you're downloading the coupons onto your store app. Um, that's usually with your loyalty card. Make sure the food items have a long expiration date. Maybe consider investing into a food saver or a vacuum sealed machine so you can bag up some of your freezer items like meat or vegetables up and put them in your freezer to last longer. Now with all that information on this playlist here that'll give you some cooking and meal planning inspiration for all your summer gatherings. Oh and in the comments let me know what you're going to stock up on. See you later. Bye.